things um, I really got to develop while I was at USD Law School was how to be a leader um, and how to balance your personal life, your professional life, um, as well as your studies. Um, all while trying to, you know, excel in all those various areas. Um, and while I was at USC Law School, you know, not only was I on the Black Law Students Association Board, as well as the Moot Court Board, um, I also had the opportunity to intern at the DA's office, at the city's attorney's office. Um, and those were opportunities that I wouldn't have been able to have had it not been for uh, career services at USD. As, you know, an alumni, my goal is to try to create that same experience for these, for the current students and whatever I can do, however I can give back. I don't even know if committed is, is the right word or if it does it justice, um, but she has an, an ownership about the things that she commits to, um, that she wants it to be the best that it can be. And she wants to make sure that there's something to, um, for others to, to, look, to look up to for the future um, and know that there's a certain standard. And I think in a lot of ways from working with her, she set the standard for a lot of things that we did because of her commitment. Um, and it's made us all the better. Being a Black female attorney, it can certainly feel isolating because there's, there are not a lot of us. That also encouraged and inspired me to work with um, a number of wonderful people in helping to co-found the Advancing Black Leadership and Scholarship in the Law Fund, um, especially in light of this year's protests and calls for, you know, recognition and dismantling of racial injustices and systemic racism in all aspects of our society. She does it all and she does it well. She's an amazing lawyer. She goes above and beyond in the office volunteering to work on difficult cases and helping to run our student team. And in her spare time, she does things like takes German classes. So in my experience, most people who are super involved in work don't do a lot of outside activities. And most people who are super involved in outside activities sometimes neglect their actual work. Joy is 100% dedicated to everything she does. As legal practitioners, we have so much power not to just shape our current status, but to shape where our, the future of our country can go. And the people involved in shaping the future of our country have to represent the people of our country. We're all the fabric of our nation. Um, and I'm excited that this Advancing Black Leadership in Law School uh, scholarship is recognizing that and is making that a priority at USD. My parents came to this country, they flew across an ocean with three kids in tow um, to this country in 1989, um, having never set foot in this country. Every ounce of success or accomplishments um, humility, determination, strength, um, happiness <laughs> I have is, is certainly due to my parents, um, my siblings, my amazing siblings, my husbands, and God. <laughs>